My name is Bill Regine. I'm the chair of radiation oncology here at University of Maryland and University of Maryland Greenbaum Cancer Center. Uh, I'm a radiation oncologist. Um, my special areas of focus and expertise based on training and research that I've done are multiple sites, including gastrointestinal cancers, uh, brain tumors, sarcomas. Sarcomas are like soft tissue cancers that usually happen around the legs and extremities, uh, and also head and neck cancer. I was a medical student in Syracuse. First two years, I never heard of radiation oncology. And I was a group, uh, among a group of medical students in Syracuse who we all met after school as an outlet and we played basketball in the gym. And one afternoon during my uh, start of my third year, me and one other gentleman got in a little bit of a tussle on the court. And then afterwards, like aspiring doctors, hopefully we apologized to each other. And he started, what do you do? I said, well, I'm a third year medical student. I said, what do you do? He goes, well, I'm the chief resident in radiation oncology in Syracuse. And I go, what is radiation oncology? And he just opened up this, uh, what I think is an amazing world of applying technology and combined with biology to care for people. At the Greenbaum Cancer Center, any patient we see gets presented at one of our tumor site specific uh, multidisciplinary tumor boards. So, lot, so I participate on Wednesday afternoon in the neuro-oncology tumor board. So when I see a brain tumor patient, patient gets presented and somebody, well, everybody's toolbox is open and every tool is on the table and we put together what's the best combination of tools, right? So it's more brains thinking of the best. So, uh, and I think that's really unique. Hard, not, it's gonna be really hard to do that outside of a, uh, you know, a committed academic center. At the same time, make sure that your patient experience is associated with the big reduction in stress all of which is gonna increase your chance for having hope for the best outcome in the care of your cancer.